Would you like to learn how to establish a solid down command with your dog? How's your down command been going? I was having you down her for like 45 minutes standing pretty close because mm -hmm. we had done that was the first phase yeah. for her down command and we're gonna go ahead and progress that today. How's that going? Overall, pretty well. Um, we have had some family members move in. Okay, cross awesome. her off of you. Next time, instead of just pushing off, got your leash, yep. disagree. Um, so when the kids are around, there's some more distractions and she'll get up a few more times, but she still will go back down pretty quickly. Okay, so. good, well, let's progress that then. Yeah. I had you standing on the leash and showing her um, the last time you were here, two or three weeks ago. Yep. And you were getting Throughout the two or three weeks, you were getting six feet away, mm -hmm. but having her lay down for about 45 minutes or so to an hour, correct? Yep. So we lay that foundation so the dog's brain learns to surrender to the leash and lay down on their belly, but eventually you want to get away from six feet with the dog. You want to sure. be able to get something done, right? Yep. So um, we're going to go ahead and progress. So now that you've laid that foundation, it is fair and appropriate to start to incorporate some leash corrections okay. for her to down and stay down. You can never correct a dog for something they don't understand. That is why you had to stand, you had to, we had to lay that first foundation okay. to where we just made tension in a downward motion by stepping on the line and it would look like this. I'm just gonna show what it looks like. So I put it under my foot, down, and then I make tension, down, and she lays down. That's how you've been doing it for three weeks. Yep. Now we're gonna go from there. All right. We release her with a break command, break. Then we share affection, mm -hmm. calm, no talking. Yep. Now I'm gonna have her down and I'm gonna incorporate a leash correction. In the, so anytime you give a leash correction, you wanna give a correction in the direction you want the dog to go. Okay. So even though you were stepping on the line before, if I tell her down and she doesn't down, I'm gonna then bend over and give little taps or a little correction okay. in a down and away motion. That will still help the brain and we're gonna transition to that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna down her. Down. 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 Notice how I said down, she didn't down. I gave a little leash tap down in a downward motion but I held position. I didn't just get out of there. Right. I stayed in place in case I needed to give another correction. Okay. And I didn't stand straight up until she was down. Now, if I wanted to get six feet away for her, see about her making a mistake. So if she was to break without saying anything, I would quickly go right in and give a little leash correction in a down and away motion. Okay, so we have a dog walking by, which is great. Down. Notice the line is loose. Mm -hmm. If she was to get up, I would. The first thing I would do is I'd give a correction, and then I would tell her down. Okay. Correction has to come first because she broke the command. Okay. If she breaks command, and I tell her down, and she lays back down, all she's going to know is that, I mean, if she breaks command and all I do is reinforce the command and say down again, where's her incentive to stay down? Sure. Yeah. She'll stay down to avoid the correction she knows she'll get if she doesn't stay down. Yeah. So that's, that's the foundation of what we want to do. So you always give the dog the opportunity to succeed. So we say down initially. Once they break command, correction comes in a down and away motion. And then I repeat the down command so she knows why she got a correction. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So when we execute the down command, we don't move. And then, unless I have to then go in and correct. Sure. But then when I'm gonna tell her break, I don't move either. And after I say break, then I'll invite her. Break. And then I share calm affection, just like that, okay? So I'm gonna down her one more time and then I'll have you do it. Okay. I'd kinda like her to make a mistake though so I can make a demonstration. <laughs> down. I told her down. She's not downing. Down. Correction. Let me get the leash this way. It just took one. She was in the process of going down. I was trying to get the line correct, but notice I didn't move my feet a lot. You want to stay calm in your movement. Now she's in a down. Now if I was to back away, so she might actually try, I might actually get up. 
but she's not, so we'll just let it be and I'll let you do it. But she's okay. doing great. You've been doing your homework. That's awesome. <laughs> Break. Calm, a calm affection. So I'm going to have you do that. All right. When people do their homework, this part gets off. Oh. And you've got to start Sorry. correcting yep. her instead of just telling her. You got it afterwards. That was good. So go ahead. Yep, you're right. So just go ahead and get the line. What I would probably do is just bring this collar just around so it's more towards underneath her neck. So, because when you correct, there you go, just like that. There you go. Whenever you're ready. Down. Wait. Now correct her. Down. Pop release. Wait. Keep saying, say down again. Down. Don't move your feet. It's all right. You're good. Excellent job. Now you can say down and stand all the way down. Up. That was very good. A lot of people would have wanted to back away and keep doing it, and the dog's going to keep following. Don't move your feet. Okay. Okay? When you're downing her, you might pivot, you might take a step, but you're not going to be moving your feet. You just okay. stand still. That was very, very good. So if she was to break command right here, you don't say one word. You're going to step in and correct. Okay. And then you say down. Okay. So again, correct her now. Say nothing. Correct her again. Now say down. Down. Correct her. Say down. Down. Don't move your feet. Calm. Down. Okay, so I'm going to show you something. That was all very good. Stand okay. still for a minute. When she's on a down and you drop the leash and now you're away, yeah. again, if she was to break command to go some work, I want you to take her back to the spot that you originally downed her because I don't want her to get up and think she can just get up and run wherever she wants to be and then lay down. Okay. Or yeah. you down her there, right? That makes sense. She might run to you, you down her, and she's by your feet, and, and, you, and you're happy she's in a down, but she's like, well, that's where I wanted to be in the first place. <laughs> that's not how dogs think, but in essence, that is the reality of what that would actually look like. Yeah. Okay? So you, you need to maintain the down command in the original place when you're doing this hour down. So again, if she was to break command and leave and go somewhere, you would say nothing. Get the leash. Calmly take her back to the spot. Give okay. a leash correction and down away motion, and then tell her down. Okay. Let me have her. I want to show you something. It might be easier to demonstrate it. Come on, pup. So, let's say, so when you go to execute the command, I'm going to do it. So, I've already got my line the way I want it to be for me to give the correction. And if she moves out of place, then I'm going to modify. Okay. But it is better to, so if, <clears throat> if I hold the line in my left hand, and I say down and I just try to take her to the ground. Yeah. That's not effective. You, you felt it was awkward, yeah. right? <laughs> Absolutely. But I hadn't set you up for success yet either. But I'm going to do that now. Okay. I already know I'm going to execute the command, so I'm going to get myself ready and okay. relaxed in my body. I'm going to tell her down, and if she doesn't down, I'm going to correct in a down and away motion like that. But I've already got my hands set. Down. I was hoping she wouldn't do that. <laughs> down. If she didn't down, I would have then just slid my hand a little bit and I would have corrected in a down away, but that would have been a very clear, yep. calm, giving her direction and correction at the same time. That's yeah. how it would have been. Mm -hmm. But that was beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna hold the line. So you're gonna just skip just like this. So hold the line in this hand and then she's right there. Take out your slack. Now, so now if you go to tell her down and she doesn't down, all you have to do is you could even pivot, but you're going to tell her down. But what you're going to do is you're going to turn and then correct in a down and away motion like that. Okay. Right there. Stand still. See, she gets close to you and wants to suck up a little bit. Yeah. So maybe she can't get corrected. So don't move your feet a lot, but you're still going to be able to give that correction. Okay. So right there, tell her down. Down. Correct her. Say down again. Down. Now that, just stand still, wait. Down and stand up. Down. That was beautiful. How smooth did that feel? <laughs> a lot smoother. <laughs> that was nice. That yeah. was really, really nice. That was excellent. So go ahead and just stand at the end of your six feet now without making tension. Just stand back. If she breaks command, don't say anything. You're just going to step right in and correct that exact same way, okay? okay? Yeah, just like that. That was excellent. That was excellent. Okay, go ahead and step back in just a little bit. Say down. Down. Good right there. Just tell her break and get her up. Break. I was really happy to see Carly and Daisy come back to finalize their down command that we had established in a previous lesson. Clearly, she had gone home and done her homework, and Daisy was totally ready for the leash corrections to come. Remember, you can never correct a dog for something that they don't understand. When you're creating man-made obedience, like sit down or here, as an example, 
you have to lay a foundation of understanding so they understand what it is you're asking. Number two, you always want to make sure that you, when you are giving a leash correction, you are giving a correction in the direction you want the dog to go. Number three, you've got to always do your homework. All of this solid foundation is layer upon layer and there's no substitute for time and repetition in order to have the solid obedience to hold up under distraction so your dog is safe and you can invite them into any area of your life that you want. Your dog will never be the dog you want him to be until you're the leader they need you to be. Till the next lesson, we just thank you so much for listening. We hope you gained some value. And again, your dog will never be what you want him to be until you're the leader they need you to be. And we just thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.